Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to my reaction channel. My name is Harry. You are all welcome. Regulars, newcomers, subscribers, patrons. I welcome you all. It's nice to have you here. Now, um, sometimes I just like choose some, you know, songs based on the song titles, or maybe I found the name of the band, you know, interesting, or maybe I saw a video and it's got so many views, you know, I'm like thinking, this, what is this, you know? Now this time, I've chosen this band because of the name, <laughs> Jefferson Airplane. I like that name. And because my daughter, right, she's three years old and she's nuts about airplanes, you know. Every day I don't rest, airplane, airplane, airplane. And now she's also into like, um, helicopter, that's what she calls it. <laughs> helicopter. I'm like, no music, it's helicopter. She's like, helicopter. Anyway, so, um, I'm gonna like dedicate this like um reaction to my daughter music. So let's go check out um this guy's Jefferson Airplane and the song is called White Rabbit. song started the first 10 or 15 seconds I thought to myself this song sounds like like um like from what I've read because I haven't tried it <laughs> it sounds like what it would be like if you were like on acid but you were like on a mellow trip you know because it just sounded so it was like it was like hypnotizing like I was in a trance Boom, 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 boom. That's what I thought. And then they started talking about um, pills, you know, about how one makes you tall, one makes you small, and then the one mother gives you, you know, does nothing to you. And I'm thinking, yes, this song is exactly what I thought it represented. It's about getting up there. <laughs> Amazing. I got that in the first 10 seconds. And her voice is just as bad as the song. I don't mean bad in a bad way, you know, but... Her voice as well. It's like, if she looks at you and sings to you, you could be hypnotized. She has that kind of voice, you know, that's like, I'm just takes in a trance. And the combination is just deadly.
I had to like make sure that I stay here and not let her take me somewhere, someplace where I couldn't come back. Amazing. Now, before I go on, guys, has this song, the instrumental version, ever been used in a movie? Because it sounds like, it sounds like, you know, that bit where it goes boom, 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 boom. Sounds like I heard that before somewhere, you know. Maybe a TV show or a movie, I don't know. Sounds very familiar. The girl's voice is just something else, man. The way she sings, you know, it's, um, she had two, she had two parts there, right? At the start, it was very, very hypnotic, very trancy. And then later on, it was, it was like a combination of an opera singer and an Arabian singer. It's like joined together and it's just crazy what you get, you know, amazing, fantastic. And they did not hide what the song is about in the lyrics, you know, and um, this was in the 60s, obviously. Yeah, I'm guessing so. I think it must have been in the 60s, you know, from the sound I can hear. And I'm just like thinking, I know in the 60s they had all this free love period and they had all this getting high, the psychedelia and speed and acid and all those kind of things, you know. And I'm just wondering how the media stations took this. Was this embraced? Was it banned? Was it a song that you heard on the underground and the clubs but never got played on, on radio or, or TV? Because, um, I know, those old fuddy daddies, they could easily have said, you know, this was promoting them, um, you know, I don't know, <laughs> promoting whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So um, that makes me wonder. You know, I, I I don't know, but it's um, and another thing is the name is Jefferson Airplane, <laughs> and this song sounds so appropriate for what it's done because um, you know, an airplane is always up there in the sky, and the clouds, and the here they are singing about the song, you know, that um, that um, you know, takes you to somewhere interesting. Actually, talking about, I'm just, it's got 12 million views here. And um, for a song that is so old, that is something. Actually, talking about so old, I think I should um, confirm this and see exactly when the song was, um, when the song was uh, released. So uh, just give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, so apparently, you know, I was right about a couple of things. It was in the 60s. This song is from 1967. Um, interestingly, you know, the lady who sings on this, her name is Grace Slick. And um, she wrote the song as well. <laughs> so this is one hell of a talented lady to have that voice and also to be an incredible songwriter as well. Fantastic. And then I also was like talking about how um, it's the kind of song that, um, well, I didn't say that exactly, but I meant that when I said, um, um, in the 60s, they had all this free love thing and all that, you know, and appropriately, right, they performed the song at the Woodstep Festival. So this would have gone down <laughs> amazingly well there, you know, um, at the Woodstock Festival. So fantastic. So Grace Slick. I never heard that name before, man, you know, and she didn't co-write the song. She wrote the whole song herself. That is fantastic. She must have made a dollar or two from this song, you know, because um, I bet it was huge when it when it came out, you know, fantastic. So um, Jefferson Airplane. I'm just like thinking um. Okay, no, that's that's something else. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think I'm I'm probably gonna like go and find out more about this great slick, uh, woman. You know, um, anybody who can come up with a song like that, man. Is a very intriguing character and I want to get to, I want to get to know more about her also about the band as well you know I like to also see maybe they've got like some other like um fantastic songs or they were just like a one hit wonder so that should be interesting to to get to uh, discover so thank you guys uh, for staying with me I hope you enjoyed this um if you got any suggestions about um Jefferson airplane that you want to hear don't be shy to leave a comment in the comment section you know I always try to uh, read as much as I can you know, there's not so much time because of all the 
editing and video shooting, but um, I try. So take care, guys. My name is Harry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps get some more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you give it a serious consideration to do so. Um, so my name is Harry. Thanks for stopping by. And I shall see you, not up there, but <laughs> at the next stop. Bye-bye. <laughs>